In this video, I'm going to explain an action potential. An action potential, or a nerve impulse, causes a movement of ions across the cell membrane of a neuron, similar to a ripple passing along the surface of a pond. The cell membrane of a neuron contains thousands of tiny molecules known as channels. These channels allow either sodium or potassium ions to pass through. Generally, the channels on a neuron are closed, and the membrane is said to be in a resting state. In this state, the charge of the inside of the cell membrane is more negative than the outside. And if you could imagine sticking microelectrode connected to a voltmeter inside this membrane, the reading would show about negative 70 millivolt, meaning that the inside of the neuron is about 70 millivolt less than the outside. The cell membrane of a neuron is polarized because of this electrical difference across the membrane. Now, a nerve impulse starts when pressure or other sensory inputs disturbs a neuron's plasma membrane to the point that the potential difference reaches a threshold voltage of about negative 55 millivolt. This causes hundreds of sodium channels in that region of the membrane to open briefly. This in turn allows positively charged sodium ions to flow inside the cell membrane. Now the inside of the membrane temporarily becomes more positive than the outside, which in turn causes the voltage to rise. This is called depolarized state. The membrane is now depolarized because the net charge inside the axon changed from negative to positive as sodium ions entered in. As the impulse passes, the potassium channels begin to open allowing positively charged potassium ions to flow out, which causes inside of the axon to resume a net negative charge. At this point, the voltage would fall. The membrane is now said to be repolarized, because again, it's negatively charged on the inside and positively charged on the outside. Now, this depolarization and repolarization of a neuron membrane is called an action potential. Action potential is just another name for a nerve impulse. After a nerve impulse, some voltage-gated potassium channels remain open, resulting in further movement of potassium out of the cell. As the voltage falls below the reading of the resting state, the membrane is said to be hyperpolarized, because it's even more negative than at the beginning. At this stage, neuron is unable to conduct a nerve impulse, and it's said to be in the refractory period. The refractory period is a very short period during which the sodium-potassium pump continues to return sodium ions to the outside and potassium ions to the inside of the axon, thus returning the neuron to resting potential. So in summary, an actual potential is just a wave of depolarization and repolarization. It's not an electric current. It's just a series of voltage-gated ions channels opened and closed. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hopefully I made it wicked easy to understand.